What's going on guys? Will here with Jurassic Elements. Today is feeding day, so viewer discretion adv is advised. However, we are not feeding anything live. It's all frozen thawed uh, here with us. Um, I don't think I feed anything live besides maybe pinkies and rat pups to newborn snakes that aren't taking to frozen thawed right away. So yeah, so we're going to start first with our Freedom Breeder rack. Um, this holds mainly just our berms and one of our large adult female carpet pythons. As you can tell, they're already noticing that there's food in the room. Here's my bucket of rodents. They already know food is in the room. They can smell it. So one of the ways I stay safe while feeding is I always make sure, sure someone else uh, is here in the house with me. And on top of that, um, with these older racks, I'll normally pull one corner, then the other. All right, and so, because if I just pull it one, I'm just gonna get something right here at the edge. So I start it, then I'll pull forward a little bit, give myself a good arm's length away, um, and then I they will take the food almost automatically. So I'll wait for some of this water to drain off the rodent. She is ready to go, and she'll strike right away. So everybody don't blink. And she pulled it right from me. We're gonna clean cages in the next day or two. I just figured I'd feed first before cleaning. So that is Athena, the hypogranite. All right, next up is Izzy. This is our pearl granite. So morph-wise is more of our top tier morphs that we're keeping um, when it comes to the berms, just because it's a hypo, it's an albino, and it's a granite Burmese python. So she'll get a jumbo as well. Sometimes I'll notice when they get really close to the top of the edge, I, I gotta be careful because when they're low, not a big deal, my hands are here. But when they're high and my hands are here, they might take come over that lip as I pull forward and they'll get me in the arm and they're not gonna let go because they're assuming that there's food because of the smell. So they would assume that my hand is the food, which would take forever to get situated. So here is Izzy, the hypogranite. She took our meal. She's got some amazing colors. Um, more of the sought, more sought after of the jeans, just because she has three jeans in her. We'll, produ we'll be producing a few of these babies this year, hopefully at least 20 or so, but um, it's hard to tell uh, gene wise before we even get the amount and amount of eggs. Um, and so this is Apophis. So this is our male that bred with Judy, which is right below. Judy already had a rabbit yesterday, so we're not gonna worry about her. Um, but Apophis is right here, right at the edge. So like I said, you gotta be careful when working with these bigger snakes, especially during the feeding time, um, cause they are poisoned, ready to go. Here's his tongue right here. He is ready to go. He's pushing forward. He's like, I know there's food. You need to give me food. So I'm gonna let this water kind of drip out. And he's gonna be poison ready. So I'm gonna be poison ready. All right, this one's gonna be a little different. He is pushing. Okay, three, two, one. He did all that for nothing. He was really trying to get out. So, like I said, this is our granite berm that is het for um, albino. Proved, proved out this year. Judy's good to go. Like I said, we fed her a rabbit. Now, I do have one of my carpet pythons. Uh, she's the one that produced this year. I named her Luna. And so Luna's poised and ready as well. She'll get one rodent. She does not get fed as often as the berms. I don't need to put on a bunch of weight for her. She's not gonna be breeding for us anymore. Um, so she's just more of like a, a pet, an educational tool, and so forth. So she's pretty good. When she smells, she's on it. As I say that, she thinks about it. There you go, mama. Good, awesome. Definitely not a snake you wanna get bit by. Large teeth on these semi-arboreal pythons. All right, from here, we are going to work on the 44 quart rack. We have uh, the two Walma pythons, the adults. We're gonna feed those some small rats. And then from there, we'll go to the other rack that I have there, which I think is a 32 quart rack. And that just has a few of our colubrids today. 
And from there, um, you'll also see we filmed the other day a video feeding uh, the large berms that are in my garage. I am uh, feeding some of the big berms out here, so let's start out with the hypogranite. Now, there's two ways of trying this, and she is quick once she gets a scent. So I'm going to toss it next to her, and she'll probably bite to it. And here we go. She got it. So she's on the rabbit. I'm going to try to get her without her getting me. go back in the cage and yeah we need to do some cleaning as you can tell she used the restroom in there so after she puts that meal down probably tomorrow or the next day we'll be uh, doing that and then the next one if you want to get a little closer is going to be this normal she is ramped up and ready to go um, I'm going to feed her this brown rabbit right here and there's her meal a little bit smaller than the other but that's what I had, ready to go. And she goes for it, right on. We're gonna feed one more rabbit to the, uh, to Judy, my albino that is inside. All right, so this is the rabbit we thought out for Judy. Uh, she is in shed, but hopefully she takes it. If not, I have another berm we can try it with. Oh, she took it. We are good to go. Okay, guys, so we're at the 44 quart rack that I have. Um, we have a couple Walmas and a green berm at the moment here. So today, the breeding pair of Walma pythons are being fed. The female is going to get a larger rodent, the male is going to get a smaller meal. Um, I'm trying to not put on too much weight on the male right before going down for breeding season. Uh, just because when he comes out, he, I'm going to feed him while he's breeding and I don't want him to get lazy and heavy. So the female, I want her to be nice and heavy so that she can have a solid clutch of eggs. So let's see who's first. This is, I believe the female, but I'm gonna double check. Hold on, buddy. There you go. Make sure of it. This is the female. Okay, that's what I thought. So we're going to get her a substantially larger meal than typical um, just so that she's putting on the weight needed for the breeding season. Now they're a little weird about feeding. I don't know if she'll go immediately. And she did. Awesome. Heck yeah. Let's give a little rodent dance as they call it. Make sure she knows it's alive. She'll go in and take on that meal. So if I sift through my bucket, I got a small rat here somewhere. There we go. And that's going to be for the male. He had a bigger meal just the other week, so we're going to keep this one small for him. What do you think? He's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> nope. All right, I'm going to leave this in here. He'll come to it. He always does. And he might actually go for it right now. Maybe. But at least we got some good footage of him. He's an awesome animal. I'm excited to breed these for the first year. Just uh, a purchase Jurassic Elements uh, made um, on this proven breeder pair. So yeah, so this is all we're going to feed today at the 44 quart rack uh, system I have. So now we're going to go feed at the 32 quart rack system. Just a few today. Just a few. Okay. All right, guys, so we got a few of our Raise Up Colubrids in here, and we're going to be feeding them. Like I said, we're going to be doing cleaning tomorrow or the next day, so don't don't worry too much about the poop. And there is a scaleless corn in here. He used the restroom twice now. Hi, buddy, what do you think? There you go. Oh. All right, we're going to let him go. You're fine, you're fine. There you go. We'll go back for that. And then we have a snow corn in here and then another scaleless corn. Snow corn is always ready to go. And boom, took its meal. Another raise up scaleless corn. 
like she used the restroom, so she. Oh, you're fine, Mama. There you go. Took its meal. And then we have a California king. Now she might be in shed. The male is in the other room. She might be in shed, so we'll find out. Right now. Oh, we're good to go. We got one of the rhino rats today that's gonna be fed. Um, she's in the back corner soaking up on that heat. Oh, she smells it. She smells it. And there we go. She'll put that down pretty quick. Absolutely love this species. We only have one baby left for sale this year. Um, super excited for next year as this girl should be adult size to breed. And then in here we have a Walma Python. I moved her because she was in the 44 quart rack but she wasn't taking food as well as I'd like so I brought her into a smaller space. I'm gonna get a few more meals into her before I move her back uh, to the racks. So let's see. What do you think, Mama? There you go. Absolutely gorgeous animal. Super excited uh, for her raise-up process. And that's all we got here in the